everybody. I am here with my snowball, so I'm sure you'll see the little black ball in the frame, but if I hold it kind of close to me, it picks up decent audio, but from far away, like if I were to put it on my desk, it's just going to be useless. So I want you to be able to hear me, so forgive the big black ball on the bottom of the screen. <laughs> this is about the Inakin iTaste MVP2. This is a sweet little mod. If you are in the market for like your first upgrade, let's say you're using like an Ego kit right now and you want something, you know, that fits in your pocket, is super simple to use, it has variable voltage and variable wattage, it's just an awesome device. This has 2600 ma milliamp hours and it lasts a long time. It lasts me if I use just this, which it never really happens, but I, I tried to use only this the first day that I had it just to see how long the battery would last. It lasts forever. It lasted me well over 24 hours. And then, you know, any kind of me using one flavor doesn't work out too well. So I kind of gave up on that and it lasted another half a day. And that was with mixing it half and half with my iTaste 134. So I think this is kind of the opposite. Let me just grab the 134 here. They're kind of, you know, they're brothers, but definitely not twins. They're about as opposite as two mods could be. I already have done a review, and I'll link that below, but just keep in mind, all of my reviews are kind of geared toward beginner vapors. You're not going to see me blowing huge clouds of vapor. It's not what I'm interested in. I just want to provide a really good review and maybe some advice to a beginner vapor. And this is the mod. I mean, for me, this is the mod that I would recommend to somebody that wants to take that step up from like, let's say you're using an Ego or even a stick battery. I would skip right over the Ego. If you're using a Sigalike right now, just invest the 50 bucks in this and then get a decent tank. This here is a Vibi Nova tank and I can go through all of that stuff for you. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment box below. This is an awesome mod. It lasts a long time. You don't have to worry about buying separate batteries and charging them. It's got some really cool features on it. You can charge a cell phone or an iPod at the bottom. It's not really something that I'm interested in, but I think it's really cool that you can do it. So here we'll do some up close and then I'll come back and just kind of give you my final thoughts. So yeah, we got a whole lot of boobage going on here, and I, <laughs> I apologize, I am not trying to get views for that, so sorry in advance about these. Stop looking at these, start looking at this. Okay, so this is as uppy closey as I could get. I'm sorry guys, it's my first attempt. But I just wanted to kind of show you the device up close and personal, and just show you what all it can do. So here is the top of the device, I've got my Vivi Nova on there. And then here is the front, the side, and that's where all the action, so so to speak, is going to take place. The bottom here, just put it up a little bit closer for you. There you go. So you can see there, there's an on-off switch over here, and that's so you can charge all of your devices. There's the input there, and that's where you would charge it, and the output, again, to charge your devices. And then, oh, there's the front again. There's the back and that by the way that is the Weezer symbol that is my favorite rock and roll band so that's just my personalization of this device everything that you see is gonna take place right here so when you first touch any button and hold it you're gonna get a puff counter I hope you can see that you see right there I've got 263 and then it takes us into power mode just because I'm touching the top button the first one is P for power or wattage and the bottom one is it says U, but it's actually voltage so I'm gonna go over variable wattage with you first so there's a quick puff count and then we go into power you can just dial it up see that it round robins 11 watts so you can go from 6 watts in 0.5 increments to 11 and then it round robins again you cannot move down because if you do that and then just pull it back so let's say we're in power mode. You start going down, see? It's in voltage and it's dialing up. So it goes up to, I believe it's six. Nope, it was five. And then back down to three. So 0.1 increments there to five. 3.2 looks like to five. Yep, yeah, no, 3.3. 3. 
So 3.3 volts all the way up to 5. And then same thing, it takes us into power, and I'm going to set it right back there. If you hold both buttons down together, it tells you 1.8 ohms on this device. Super simple to use. Oh my gosh, this is the simplest device to use. So, in order to turn it off, just demonstrate that real quick. Just three, one, two, three, turns it right back on. You get a little bit of a light show, and then you're ready to go. And it's really simple to use, I'm telling you. So, oh, one more thing I forgot to mention. I'm just going to take my tank off here. Okay, so you've got this beauty ring, and I like using it. It's got two air holes on it. I hope that you can see those. One, and then two, but you can screw this off. And if you wanted to, you could put your device right into there. It is a 510 connection, by the way. There we go. Got Blue Moo in here today, by the way. Not that that's probably a shock to anybody. Somebody had asked me, do I get extra flavor shots? Yes, I order three extra flavor shots no matter what flavor I get. I am a flavor fiend. So if I can't taste something, I'm not gonna use it. So I always standard order three extra flavor shots from any company that I get the chance. It's just what I do. Okay, so back to the iTaste MVP2. I love this device. I don't have any problems. I know that Phil P. Busardo here on YouTube, I'll link his video review of it too. He did not like the button on this. I have an absolutely no problem pushing this button. I mean, but I am a massage therapist, so I, I have really strong thumbs. Let me try it with my index finger. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. This is an awesome mod. I absolutely love it. I love that it has variable voltage and variable wattage. I use it on variable voltage. No, never. I use it on variable wattage specifically. I used to use variable voltage and if you are somebody that doesn't really know how to do that, you're looking to make the leap into variable voltage. What I do, you use your ohm checker on here, check out your ohm, see where you're at, and then as a starting place, you just add two. So let's say you're using a two ohm uh, cardamizer tank. Okay, fine. So you would put it to four is a starting voltage for you. Wattage, I would start at like seven watts if you're new to it, and then you can dial it up or dial it down according to flavor. When you get into higher wattage, I th how I do it is if I taste, it starts tasting burnt, then I dial it back. So right now I vape at an eight watts pretty much on anything that I use and that's what works for me. So all in all, I couldn't say anything nicer about it. I absolutely love it. It is my favorite mod in my collection. I love that it is so hand friendly, so portable, and even, hang on, Christy, can you hand that to me? Okay, so James had this old cell phone cover <laughs> and I actually use this for the mod. I just stick it right in there downward like that close it down and I can attach it right to my pants I, I don't know why I just like doing things like that so this is the one that I've been carrying with me exclusively I don't bring most of the time all my other mods into the car it's just awesome I wish now that I had gotten the I, well it wasn't back out when I was looking for my Vamo but I even wish I'd maybe gotten the well it was variable voltage no scratch that hang on let's have a bait So yeah, I was really glad that I got my Vamo when I got it. It was my, you know, step into variable voltage, variable wattage. But if I were going to make that decision now, if I were looking today to purchase that first mod, this is the one that I would go with because you don't have to buy separate batteries. It's a lot smaller and I actually like that it's rectangular and, and you know, hand friendly versus the longer mod. I feel much more comfortable carrying this out in public. I like it much more for in the car. It's just all around my favorite mod. So I hope that this video was helpful too. 
you. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment box below. And I hope you're having a great vape week. Bye. Kristen, what are you doing? Are you enjoying this video? <laughs> How about the clothes at the back there? Nothing like seeing a messy room to make you feel real confident about this video.